What we're looking at today is Xeon Zoysia grass. Uh, going to make a series of videos taking this grass uh, from about a two inch cutting height down to a quarter inch cutting height next spring. Uh, it's currently late November, just after Thanksgiving. There's a lot of green still in the grass as the weather has been fairly mild here. Uh, we've only had a few nights down in the 30s. Uh, and you can see the rough outline that we're going to be making here that uh, will turn this into a putting green. Uh, and I have had it at a quarter inch height before, but was really busy this summer and it got away from me up to about two inches. Uh, taking advantage of the dormant period to work it back down to a lower height. Uh, right now, uh, just using a regular rotary mower, um, cutting actual cutting height. Uh, looking a little over an inch. Uh, try to get it a little bit lower uh, and do some rolling to flatten it out. Uh, and get it back down to where we can start working on it with the real mower in the spring. So here we are again with an update. Uh, turf has been mowed a half a notch lower on the mower. Uh, I've got it down right at an inch now and I'm going to spread some sand in some of the areas that uh, hold water. I've got some mud in a few areas that's close to where the mower is over there uh, and also right here uh, in front of the tent. Uh, which is drying out from recent camping. Um, what I have here is a normal broadcast spreader which I have modified to spread sand and it will spread even wet sand. Uh, you do have to shake it around a little bit if the sand is wet though. You can see as it rolls uh, what I have done is taken a stout piece of metal wire and made a much bigger agitator in here so it busts the sand up. Uh, the sand tends to bridge uh, and just hold itself in place. This keeps that from happening allowing you to spread sand. Now you could spread um, a compost with this as long as it had a really fine particle size. Anything with chunks much bigger than what that hole is there is not going to go through here uh, but it works very well for sand. Uh, today I have play sand uh, which I picked up at the local hardware store uh, typically I will get a scoop or two of masonry sand uh, from a supply uh, place near the house that was closed due to the holidays. So just working with a few bags of play sand today. And all I'm doing here is trying to firm up these areas so that I don't make a muddy mess over the winter. Just keep a nice firm surface. Now here's the video of me actually spreading the sand. I'm uh, going to step out here and go over these areas a few times and you'll see how nicely this sand spreads. Uh, this is fairly dry so it spreads really easily. If it's wet you have to bang the spreader around a little bit more but it does still work well.
So there you have it. That's spreading one bag of sand. And you can see we've got a nice light coating of sand here. This is akin to what would be done with a maintenance top dressing on a putting green. One of the reasons I don't like this play sand is because it almost always has these larger particles in it. Uh, it's not bothering me right now heading into winter, uh, but in the spring I would definitely not want to use this because these would be hitting the real mower blade, causing a lot of problems. Uh, if you're going for a smooth putting surface, you obviously don't want things like that as well. Uh, but for now, don't think that'll be a problem. I've got two more bags of sand going to spread on areas over here in front of the tent. Um, and then we'll catch back up with you later. Uh, so here we are working on the zoysia again. Uh, we have recently lowered the cutting height, uh, applied sand, and now I'm going to do a rolling. Uh, this lawn roller full of water. Uh, weighs a good bit and I will go back and forth multiple times over the green here to help flatten the turf, uh, lower the height of the grass, uh, start training it to that lower cutting height, uh, cause a little less damage as we continue to lower the mowing height. So we have rolled for about 30 to 45 minutes which is enough for multiple passes back over the entire green area. And obviously this is very stressful for the grass. Uh, it looks very compressed, but in this case that's what we're actually trying to achieve. As we go lower and lower on the cutting height, you can see that a lot of the green leaf tissue that remains has been laid over and pushed toward the ground. Uh, that's going to have it pushed below the height of the cut so that next time we come in and mow, uh, we take a lot less of the green leaf tissue off, um, which in the long run is going to be much less stressful for the plant. Uh, if we come in and mow all this green off of it, uh, it's basically going to throw the zoysia into shock and large areas of it will die. Um, that's something we really want to avoid. Uh, taking advantage again of this late fall uh, transition period uh, to thin the turf out, to get it matted down uh, so that when it comes out of dormancy next spring, uh, we can start off with that nice low mowing height. Uh, and at that time we'll do a core aeration, harvest the cores, and a heavy sand top dressing. Uh, and from there we should be able to proceed with uh, the quarter inch mowing height with the real mower.